Hello again, welcome back to Fallout 4. We are supposed to be installing the MSAT on a robot. I need to use the robot workbench to install the MSAT into a robot of my choice. Then I will be able to gain access to the mechanist's lair. So I can install it into a robot of my choice. Um, I mean, should I put it in Ada? Should I put it in a different robot? Should I put it on Jezebel? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens if we go over here. Oh, by the way, uh, at the end of the last episode, I took care of my inventory. So I got my inventory down to a manageable number. I did that after I stopped recording my last play session. So I did it off camera, as we say in the biz. Craft. New automatron. Let's try, let's build a new one. Let's see what we got. Yeah, build one. S six rubber, six circuitry, nine ceramic, eleven aluminum, and eight adhesive. <laughs> okay. All right. Special mods. M sets. Let's stick an M set on this thing. Requires some adhesive, some aluminum, some circuitry, and some rubber. <laughs> Look how much of the stuff we've got. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I did it. <laughs> I don't know why it's called Automatron 989. I don't know where that number came from. I mean, do I have to do anything to this guy, or can I just leave him a big wimp? I wonder if he's going to come with me. I'm curious. Let's exit and see what happens. Access the Mechanist Slayer. This unit is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Uh, personality subroutine? Personality subroutine? Would you mind explaining that to me? Processing. This unit is equipped with a dynamic personality subroutine to allow a more human-like interface. This subroutine is equipped with several advanced AI protocols such as emotion, humor, companionship, and empathy. The personality subroutine is highly recommended by the manufacturer. If long-term rapport with this unit is expected, do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? No. Nah, I think I'll keep you in default mode for now. Acknowledged. You can enable this unit's personality subroutine at any time by utilizing the vocal interface. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. Oh, all systems go, huh? All systems go? This unit is currently functioning at optimum parameters. Ready for next command. All right. Um, let's get moving then. Time to hit the road. Confirmed. All systems at your command. Oh, okay. So now I'm traveling with this thing. So, um, what do I do here? Do I, can I just build a whole bunch of robots and then decide to travel with one of them? I don't know. Let's leave, uh, Ada here. Okay, and I guess I have to travel with this robot because it has the MSAT device. So I guess I could have put that in Ada, maybe. I don't know. Access the Mechanist's lair. I installed an MSAT on a robot. I will need to keep the robot with me as I venture through the Mechanist's lair to be able to access the doors. Okay, well now I know. Um, but I wish I would have known that before. Can I remove the MSAT and put it on Ada instead? Let's see. This bot. Special mods. MSAT. Um, can't I remove it? I guess I can't. Let's see. Modify, back, rotate, or camera. Oh, I can't remove it. <laughs> so I built this stupid robot. <laughs> okay, well that's what I get for goofing off, I guess. Modify. I can't do anything. Okay. Well, I guess I better beef this thing up then, huh? Dang, why did I hate to do that? Protectron head or no head armor. Protectron head or assaultron head. Medium engagement distance, reduced accuracy. Short engagement distance, poor accuracy. Well, I guess I want to stick with the protectron head then, don't I? But I already have a Protectron head on it. All right. Head armor. Head factory armor. Head actuated frame. 
head hydraulic frame. Um, wow. Hydraulic really adds a lot to it. Let's put that on it. Okay. And now let's go to... Torso. Protectron Torso, Mr. Handy Torso, Assaultron Torso, or Robobrain Torso. So this is standard. These other ones give us more health. Really, that's the only difference I see. Huh. Well, let's give it some health, right? Yeah, why not? Okay, oh. Alright, I guess I didn't have to build it. I think I just had the mod, maybe. Front armor, holy cow. Uh, no front torso armor. Front factory armor or front factory storage armor. Oh, okay. This one gives us increased carrying capacity. Yes, please. Okay. Rear armor. Well, same thing. Back, <laughs> back factory storage armor. Okay. Miscellaneous torso mod. Hacking module, lockpick module... Okay, I don't really need either one of those. I can hack and lock pick, pick to my heart's content. Left arm. So I could do Assaultron, which is reduced carrying. This guy gives us improved melee damage and carrying capacity, but huh, it lessens my carry weight. Interesting. So Protectron, I get more carry weight. See, 390 over here versus 350 here. Oh, wow, I see. I'm going to stick with the Protectron. Left arm armor. Left arm factory armor. Okay. All right. Protectron left hand claw. I want that laser, man. What was that, that cool laser that... Uh, here we go. Protectron left hand automatic laser. Yeah. Let's go with that. Oh, look at all the stuff it needs. Oh, luckily I have all of it. No left hand armor. Hydraulic frame. <laughs> okay. Let's just max everything out. Just make this thing a beast. Good lord. Okay. Right arm. So, we'll stick with Protectron. Uh, okay. Right arm factory armor. Alright, Protectron right hand claw. Oh no, this thing's gonna be laser crazy. Just, this thing's just gonna be spraying lasers everywhere, man. Lasers, lasers, lasers. Yeah. And then right hand armor, hydraulic frame. Yeah, good luck beating this robot up. Legs. Protectron legs, Assaultron legs. Ooh, robo brain treads. Huh. So rubber bait treads gives us more health but less carry weight. That's weird. I would think that the robo brain treads would give us more carry weight, but it actually gives us less carry weight. I'll stick with my protectron legs. Mid armor. Mid factory storage armor. Yeah. Left leg armor. Hydraulic frame. Boosts everything. Well actually it doesn't. No, it, well. Eh, let's stick with hydraulics. That's what we've done it so far. Everything else. Right leg. Hydraulic frame. Okay. Was I just in legs? Yeah. Voice. Eh. Could do male voice. Bleep bright voice. Bleep click voice. Oh, interesting. Look at all these different voices. Unfortunately, I can't listen to the voice. Male processed voice. Yeah, let's see what that sounds like. Uh, paint. Yeah, we could just paint it any color. Um, let's paint it Manila. Okay. All right. There we go. Look at this beast. <laughs> you see this thing coming? You better run. Step over this dead thing's body. 
Oh my. Um, yeah, so... Look at our quests here. Access the Mechanist Lair. Where is the Mechanist Lair? Where is it on the map? It is way down here. Huh. So kind of southwest of Easy City Downs, huh? We can go there. We've been to Easy City Downs already. Man, I'm kind of nervous about this, but I feel pretty good traveling with this robot because this thing is a beast. I hate leaving Ada behind, but uh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm traveling with this thing now. All right, let's travel. Why did it bring me here? Here, okay. Travel to Easy City Downs and we'll go down here. Gonna get crazy up in here. Oh, look at that outfit. Doesn't look very comfortable. That gas mask on. And that gun looks huge. Jeez. It's massive. Alright. Automatron 989. We are going this direction. Let's go. Get out a weapon here. What's this? Okay, I can't pick that up. This direction. Let's let's get to it. I have a feeling I'm going to come across. Oh gosh, what happened to my number two weapon? This one. There. I think I'm low on ammo with this. Well, a little bit. I really like this weapon, though. I like how it catches things on fire. I'm a big fan of that. Oh, we're close. Boy, it sounds spooky out here. Yeah, we're close. It's kind of quiet. <laughs> kind of nervous about this. Robco. So I'm wondering if the Mechanist really is going to be a bad guy. Because we learned from Jezebel that the Mechanist programmed them. <laughs> He's going to get stuck over there. Programmed the robots to protect humans. But the robots took that to mean killing the humans. Because somehow that's the best thing for them. Robco Sales and Service Center. Oh boy. What in the world are we going to find in here? Well, I typically kind of like to take a look around the, the building before I enter it. I'm going to do just that. Okay, we got a door here. We can go into the back door. Hello, Automatron 989. Doesn't look like a very big building. Boy, it is quiet out here. There is no... No bad guys at all. Nothing. Well, let's um let's go in the back door instead of just walking right in the front door. What do you say? Let's go in this back door that we need a key to unlock. Or not a key. Well, we need a key. We could pick the pick the lock. Let's do this. Let's see if this gives us an advantage at all. Alright, here we go. We're going in. Nice. Oh boy. Very nervous. I'm just worried this is going to be way too high of a level for me. We'll figure it out. I didn't bring any heavy artillery with me, other than Automatron 989. So we'll see if we're uh, beaten into submission and we need to turn around. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot power armor. I need to go back and get power armor. 
I should be traveling in power armor. That's what I should be doing. I knew I forgot to do something. I tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Fort Hagen satellite array and uh, grab that X-01 armor there and um, then come back here. So I won't make you watch me do that because we've already been to Fort Hagen. So I will be right back. Okay, so we're back here at Robco Sales and Service Center, and I upgraded, not upgraded, I went and grabbed the uh, X-01, and I upgraded the, um, the components, um, which gave me more uh, weight and uh, carry weight. You can see the titanium stuff there. That's the stuff I up. I upgraded everything to Mark V and titanium, so... Hopefully that will make us uh, more powerful. It really upped our uh, damage resistance and our um, energy resistance. So let's go around back here and uh, go in this door and we'll go right back in. Robco sales and service key. All right, I'll take that. Silver fork. That key was probably to unlock that door that we just unlocked. Uh, scroll on a stick. Ooh, better clipboard. It's always exciting when I get one of those. Anything in here? Well, we'll never know. Here we've got military grade circuit board, dirty ashtray, coffee cup, battered clipboard, a white plate, aluminum canister. Economy wonder glue. Industrial oil canister. Connecting rod? Uh, Mr. Handy Fuel. I'll take it. Whoa, I did not mean to do that. I was trying to pick that thing up. It's the same key that does it, so sometimes that'll happen. Trying to hold down the key so I could pick that thing up. Ooh, I just saw some fuses or something here that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Right here. Yeah, maybe I would have seen them, I don't know. Cool stuff there, though. Fuses and vacuum tubes, nice. Well. Broken terminal that I can use. Terminal unit systems have been stopped. Please verify that all necessary hardware and software is properly installed. If problems continue, Contact your nearest Robco Sales and Service Center for immediate assistance. Okay. Ooh. Used oil can. Oh yeah. I'm exploring this place. So we're supposed to go over to that. Strange device. Activate. Oh, brother. All right, let me finish looking around in here before I go activating strange devices, son. Uh, duct tape and vegetable starch. We'll take that. Use vegetable starch. Starch as an adhesive in this game. Okay, yeah, we're not going to activate that just yet. What's over here? No, nothing. Anything over here? Let's go upstairs. See what would have happened if we had come in the front door, maybe. Oh, there's a tripwire there. Here's uh, Stimpak and Radex. Hmm. Some Protectron bays. Tesla arc, disarm. Tesla arc, disarm. That's what would have happened to us if we would have walked through this tripwire. Okay. Nothing out here. Robco Sales and Service Center. Cotton yarn and a saucer. I'll take the saucer, thank you. Can't have too much ceramics. There's an enhanced targeting card. Sounds cool. Take that. Military grade circuit board. I'll take that. Music's making me a little nervous. Let's unlock this safe. Oh. Oh, I unlocked it with the key. Okay. Pistol, rounds, money, shotgun shell, silver locket. You almost always find a silver locket in those things. Telephone. Robco Sales and Service Center Terminal. 
Let's unlock it. Skins. One likeness. Learn. No. Feral. No. Fargo. No. Hopes. Hmm. Three likenesses. Um. Hours. Okay. Please remember that all employees are under a strict non-disclosure agreement. Violations will not be to tolerated. Announcements to all staff from Mark Kirchfield, General Manager. As a reminder, all Robco Sales and Service Center employees are to adhere to the following standards of conduct. There will be no tampering with any shipments labeled RB-2851. I believe all employees are aware of what our typical shipments look like. Any so-called accidental opening of these shipments will not be tolerated and results in immediate termination, followed by extensive questioning by our friends downstairs. Employees are expected to wear official name tags. Name tags should be highly visible and attached to the top right corner of your uniform shirt. Please wear your proper name tag. No swapping. Customers, friends, and family are no longer allowed in the back service area. What is going on here? Service requests. Henrietta Blanche. Status open description. T. Sanchez. Ms. Blanche claims her terminal just suddenly stopped working. She's getting the default error message. Said it started crashing over time and now it won't even try. So much for suddenly. From the look of her, I'm guessing there's about a whole cat's worth of hair in that terminal. <laughs> Probably overheating. Resolution work order in progress. Okay. Bronwyn Sullivan. Status closed. Description. K. O'Connor. Miss Sullivan claims that her E601 was connected to her office network, but never sent out any of her intramail. She also said that there was a complete failing in the notification systems we set up for when purchased. Okay, not sure what the issue is. She says her IT department checked the computer and wasn't sure why it isn't working. Brought it back here, threatening to sue. I guess it really screwed up some important meetings for her. Evaluation, P. Benson. Looks like Carmike sabotaged this computer before he quit. I don't know if it was personal or his last hurrah. I think I can see what he did here, but I don't want to make any promises. I recommend replacing this terminal with a new one so it's guaranteed to be uncompromised. Hmm. What was his name again? The guy that left? Carmike. Okay, that name might come up again. Calvin Crenshaw. Status closed. Description K. O'Connor. Crenshaw is back with his ancient terminal. It's at least seven years old at this point. Crashing when he tries to play Red Menace. Evaluation. S. Lee. Calvin's going to have to cave and buy a new terminal. This old NX-12 is only good for writing up documents or playing text-based games at this point. He'd need more memory, which this terminal can't even support. Basically, all new insides or a brand new terminal, take your pick. Alright. Safe control. Uh-huh, I already unlocked the safe. Okay. Bobby pin box. A battered clipboard. Hello, 989. Now, 989 doesn't say anything. I like that. Oh, I can't break the glass. Oh, well. Oh, well. Another terminal. Robco RX6550 terminal. Huh. Finally, a personalized home computer for the whole family to enjoy. Keep track of activities and tasks and maintain privacy by adding passwords to logins. Passwords currently not applied. Mom. Retrieving. Error system cannot locate files. Uh, dad. Okay. Timmy. Uh, Janie. All right. That wasn't too exciting. Seem kind of lazy, if you ask me. I was lazy. What is with the music? It just sounds a little too ominous for my tastes. Du -du 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 -du. Something bad is going to happen in here. Fuse. I don't want to activate the radio. Jet. Take some of that. 
You would throw away a perfectly good jet. Robco RX 9000 terminal. <sighs> the future of gaming has arrived. Impress your friends with the new Robco RX 9000. This terminal features an upgraded processor and cutting edge graphics unlike any other terminal on the market. Please see a sales associate for a compatible game demo holotape. Maybe we'll find a game demo holotape in here somewhere. Would that be great? Robco E330 Terminal. The Robco Model E330 is the most reliable client terminal ever developed. When connected to a Robco brand mainframe, your blah blah blah. Segmentation fault, boot sector invalid corrupt, memory fault, critical failure, critical failure. Well, that's not good. It's not that reliable after all, now is it? 